three. Um, nice. Thank you. I'm just gonna poison him. Poison. Nice. Add insult to injury, and if he attacks one of us, he'll just die. <laughs> yes, death. Quartermaster is up. Sure. Why not? And... Um... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah. Actually... This one. Cool. Um, all right. I'm um, about to uh, refresh everybody's consumed items. One of their consumed items. I like that. When when are you going for that? Um. Honestly, as early as twenty three, if you want. Okay. If you want me to, do you want me to do that? Uh, sure. I mean, I could just go at fifty nine. If... Okay. Um, seven. If you needed to go a little no, bit later, I'm I'm good because then I can also do my sharpening kit. So. Oh. What are so you you're doing gonna go at twenty three. I'm gonna go at twenty three, which I'm actually okay. gonna heal Kevin of his poison. Cool. Hey. And then, hey. or actually, I'm sorry, that's a top. I can't. So. Oh, and, okay. I'm just gonna add plus one to everybody's attacks this turn. Kevin and should be fine though. Not twenty three. Right? I'm at yeah. I'm doing that twenty three. Also, uh, Kevin, if you want a uh, delectable chest over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he's going after that. Yes. Oh, but it but it only affects a range too, which, okay, never mind. Hold on. I'm, let me do something else, because that's a range too. All right, just because, just because the sharpening kit wouldn't help you all anyway. I'm actually going to go at 26, which doesn't matter as much for any of you, I don't think. Right? 26 is okay for me to give everybody back their items? Yes? Um, I'm fine with either, really. Okay, I'm good to go. Oh, it, what happens if we have the same initiative? Oh, then it's... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to risk it, because I don't know how it decides... I mean, I could go at 47. Uh, if you can, then do that. If you can, okay. do that. Um, cool. All right, I'm good to go. So, um, is Sam back? Um, not yet. I'm I'm helping her out okay. right now. No okay. worries. Down to the last room. Cool. All right. This may possibly be the last round, but we'll see. Possibly. I don't think that's going to affect anyone. I think she should just get gold. But actually, that'll give XP. Although, if she can't affect anyone, that might not give her XP. If I were her, I would just get gold. Or use the bottom of Defensive Diddy to get XP. Yeah, I would do that. Nice, get some juicy XP. Cool. Nice. Now it's it's her turn for her computer to start wigging out. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. Well we're almost we're almost done, fortunately. Mm -hmm. The Wind Demon's about to die. Maybe. Oh, he pulled me. Nice. Well, at least you murdered him. Yeah. All right. So now I am going to give people back because I need everything range two. So I want to be here. He annoyingly pulled me away. So. Oh. 
fine. Oh, no, that was the wrong... Ugh, doggone it. My 2 XP! I definitely... No. Yeah, it's my fault. I definitely did that wrong. You know what? I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna yeah. get it back. And maybe, maybe that uh, cultist will survive another day. Um, Unlikely, but yeah. I'll just use this just to move one up. Then you right. gotta, gotta stay away from the bugs. Alright. Plague Herald's up. If you all want to um, not kill that <laughs> cultist so I can get my 2 XP, <laughs> but that's, I'll leave it up to you. You can still, you can still hit him if you want, Kevin. Um, well, technically I shouldn't kill it, but I could draw high. So I can you just, could, you could. I can just chill. All right. I'm. I don't think we have to worry about him. Cool. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is someone else you. is gonna have to kill him because I won't have any high attacks though. That's fine. Ooh, ring of skulls design. Nice. Well, yeah. If we can just halt on killing this guy until the next turn, I would appreciate that. That would help me redeem my. <laughs> Annoying XP thing. Mm -hmm. Sam, um, if you want to do your massive boulder on him, that's okay. Because I can just. Yeah, I can just do three damage to him and then he'll kill himself. Sure, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, he'll die. He'll die the next turn. Yeah. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're all good. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And then I run away. You can get a coin. Oh, that's right. You coins are beneath you. Yeah, you know, um I I I am trying this new diet called uh, yeah. uh no gold diet. You know, yeah. us rocks have to manage our intake of uh, minerals and blood. I get ya. Yeah, I get ya. Let me try this again. Oh, got it. All right, I'm good. One last round, everybody. Because even if he, XP. yeah, because even if he attempts to summon a, a living bones, he's not going to survive that. So. Yeah. Well, he'll die on his turn because he's wounded. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Bum, bum, bum. Craig Hart. Sorry, I'm trying to maximize my XPs. Yep, that's perfectly fine. Totally understandable. Yeah, he's about to summon, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. Because I'm about to open up a can. Why not? Might as well add insult to injury. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> well, I poisoned him. I did something. Yeah. I did something. All right. And this is what I wanted to do, but it's okay. Oops. Craghart's up. Do whatever you'd like. So I get one XP from this. Just in time for the end of the scenario. Hey. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. XP. Chowing. And disarm all ma traps. That's cool. Oh, that nice. is really cool. 
two burn, uh, burn for two XP? Yeah, sure, yeah. why not? Um, I'm trying to confirm. Oh, okay. Wow. He definitely is clearing the way. Aha. Wow. Okay. Destroy. Wow, wow, that's nice. That's really, really cool. Sweet. And the Plague Herald. Get some XP. Yeah. <laughs> and then burn the then yeah, and then burn your bottom. That's a good that's a good one. Under your skin. Four damage. Beautiful. Ooh. Nice. What was in the yeah. chest? I missed it. It was a go ahead. A design for a ring. It's a oh. ring. Every of time stalls. I open up a chest, it's either bad or I don't get any <laughs> 10 gold or 20 gold. <laughs> Alright, Sooth Singer, your last round. Oh, you're long resting. It's fine. Yeah, just take a, take a nap. Just take, take a nap. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you'd like. Cool. You sang your last tune, Soothsayer. <laughs> <laughs> At least, it's, it's clear scenario. that you've disrupted some sort of ritual here. These elemental demons belong on an entirely different plane of existence, but the cultists have somehow managed to pull them through to this one. On the altar in the back room, there is a wealth of scribblings on these rituals. Not all of the writing is intelligible, you get the sense that this crypt is a place of power, once used by an ancient civilization. The ancients tapped the power of the elements to enhance their own lives. And while their exact fate is beyond your knowledge, it clearly didn't end well. Among the scripts, you also find notes on a couple of other places of power in the area. One appears to have seen heavy use with the cult, and the other is marked as being overrun by vicious undead. It looks as though you have the opportunity to either disrupt more of their work or get in their good graces by helping to clear a threat. All right. Cool. All right. I just needed to loot one more gold pile. Oh. It's all good. It's fine. It's all good. Achievement unlock spread the plague. Nice. Dude. A plague upon your household. <laughs> XP. Six XP. Nice. Ruinous Crypt, Decaying Crypt, lots of crypts. crypts. Lots Eternal of Wonder, got one out of 15, nice. Looks like Geode's got a new perk. Um, we've got a new item in the Merchants, which is the um, Ring of Skulls. So it actually summons a skeleton. Health yeah. three, move two, attack two, not bad. Pretty oh. cool. The really cool thing is, if I give that to myself, I can essentially re refresh a ring of skulls and like summon him again. <laughs> Multiple yes, times. More really cool. um, but it's worth 50. That's, it's going to take a while for me to get to that point if I want to buy it. But definitely a, an interesting purchase if we want to have multiple summons. So. Um, but before I forget, um, can you read out loud, Sam Antha, your personal quest inscription? Yeah. If you click on your character and then hover over your goal. Uh, there's so much to see in this world. So many wondrous places beyond belief. Snowy mountain peaks, forgotten islands, and the crystalline caverns. Surely all of these miraculous sites were not created by chance. You desire to visit these places and meditate upon their existence. Perhaps doing so will give you greater insight into your own existence as well. That sounds fitting for a for a bard, actually. Mm -hmm. Like inspiration for, cool. Hi. <laughs> who's 
turn is it to do the city encounter? Samuels. Okay. Oh, okay. As the daylight fades, you find yourself wandering through a half-crowded market street, browsing wares. Hey, over here! You turn to the direction of the voice to see a filthy vermling uh, gesturing from a dark alley. Yeah, you grim-looking chaps! I have something you might be interested in. The vermling holds out a piece of metal covered in sludge. Found this in the sewer. We're riding on it. I don't understand, but I know it's valuable. You can have it for ten gold. Hmm. Do we pay for the thing? You never know, or refuse to pay. Never trust a vermling. <laughs> it's not like we haven't had two in our party. <laughs> yeah. Granted, one of them poisoned the city, but um, <laughs> you can it's still trust me. the poison. <laughs> Let's the sludge is the yeah, poison. It might be something <laughs> valuable. Ooh. Oh. Curious gear. You hand over how the curious. gold. And... Oh, that's a good one. Oh, how curious. You hand over the gold and take hold of the metal. You wipe off the grime and slop to discover a foreign contraption made of large gears and many moving parts. If you can figure out what it, what it is, the device might actually be of some worth. Cool. So the... Um... Let's distribute the gold. So this is the gold that we would pay. Um, I'm willing to to pay for some of it to help out so that Kevin doesn't have to pay for anything. So I'm willing to put up a little bit extra unless you all want to split a little bit. If Geode wants to pay a little bit more. I can pay, I can pay one. Yeah, I can pay one as well. Okay. This one thinks. You. That means three, three, and four. Okay. I think that's fine, because you have, I think, the Soothsinger is the richest one at the moment, so. All right, distribute the gold. The Curious Gear. During your turn, disarm all traps within range two. Oh, um, wow. It is a burn for the scenario, um, but it is where it is considered a small item, so um, some of us might not have enough slots for it yet, but... Pockets, do you have slots or? I wish I could, I, I don't remember. I wish I could find out if I do. I mean, it does probably make sense for me to, to take it since I'm the mm -hmm. equipment guy um, and I could like reuse it a bunch of times. Yeah, you're more likely to use it more than once. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want me to have it, it probably makes sense for the equipment guy to have it, okay. Yeah. I'll bind it to myself. Oh, that's crazy good. Yeah. Oh, I do have spot for a small item. So yeah, I can put the curious yeah. gear. Nice. So I'll just nice. stick that in now in case we have any traps. Thanks, nice. Thanks, Vermling. See, you can trust the Vermling. Um, let me go ahead and just double check um, which quest we want to go to next to go towards Dagger Forest. Okay. So we want to go to the Decaying Crypt. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so the decaying crypt is... Where is that? Here. Um, destroy the undead that the cultists discovered here. Kill all the enemies. Kill all the revealed enemies and reach the treasure room. So. Oh, wow. Uh, select the quest. I'm good to go. Riley has a very puzzled look on her face, <laughs> looking at the screen. She's like, what are you doing, Daddy? <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? Um, why don't you actually read this one too, Samuel? Oh, okay. <clears throat> there was a heavy rain last night, and the roads are now dark streaks of mud. And as bad as it is for you walking, you can see that others up ahead on the road are having a worse trouble. You come up on a collection of wagons stuck in the mud on the side of the road. You look around and see an odd assortment of people dressed in garish clothing. They are working to push their brightly painted wagons, all emblazoned with marvelous and magical Techno Circus logo on the muck. Uh, we just stopped for a quick meal and now the wheels have gotten stuck in the mess. A quattro with a fancy top hat says as you approach. I'm sure our strongmen will get us out eventually, but we certainly wouldn't begrudge a little help. We can 
help push the Quattrall Ringmaster's wagon or help push out the fortune teller's wagon. Ooh. Ooh. I think one's going to be gold and the one's going to be like some mystical thing. Well, the Quattrall was the one who actually asked for our help. So I feel like if we, I mean, we can help this fortune teller, but that's basically snubbing the ringmaster who I think outranks oh. the fortune teller. Um, so, I mean, if we want to help out someone, I, in my opinion, we should help out the boss, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, sure, but I don't think it, it worked. I, I, I mean, I won't, don't think that they set it up like that, but maybe I, you, you're probably a little bit more familiar with the game anyway. Okay. I say ringmaster, because if it is gold, then we can give it to... Yeah. Oh, that is true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Help push the Quattro's ringmaster's wagon. Go ahead. Oh. You, oh. you put down some boards, and he even pushed until the great wagon is out of the ditch and moved along the road. The diminutive Quattro tips his hat. Well, I certainly could not have done it on my own. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. I'll tell you what, next time we're back in Gloomhaven, why don't you stop on our circuits? We'll let you in for free. So this this Please. actually I think this, this is, is good actually. Because this yeah. actually what? adds a new card into the encounter deck. Um what? which oh. basically means that we'll probably see the ringmaster again um when the circus is in town and he'll have something for us at that point. That's worth oh, it. Okay. So we actually Ooh. chose the right the right one for this one. I, I feel really? like if we chose the fortune teller, we would have gotten gold and then never been able to see the circus again, which is less oh, interesting. Rip. So, yeah. What's going to be funny is when we all retire and get new characters, and he's going to be like, I remember you. <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> you helped me back there. He was like, oh, yeah, you're the guild. You're that from that guild. Yeah, yeah. All right. Sweet. All right. Nice. So we helped the circus. What was the name of the circus from Dragon Age Season 3? Ronaldo? The Great Ronaldo? Or whatever his name is? Yeah, something like Magnificent that. Magnificent Ronaldo? Oh, man. I don't remember. Yeah. What is life without a little oh, bit man. of intrigue? The cultists have clearly marked this crypt as a spot of trouble for them. Perhaps clearing the place out will put you in their good graces. Or maybe you're just hoping to find a big stash of treasure, untouched by looters' hands. Once you arrive, the smell makes you regret your decision more than anything else. It's not the fact you've had it up to here with exploring old decrepit ruins. It's not the undead horrors shambling and moaning in the shadows. It's the smell. The smell of death and soullessness and rotting flesh. Okay. This one eats rotting flesh. This one <laughs> <doesn't smell. laughs> That's true. You probably like all these undead creatures. Um, oh. hmm. Easy. <laughs> I got a real easy one. Cool. Um, I yeah. guess this is where I'll leave. Or yeah, that's perfectly fine. So thank you for for playing up with us up to this point, Sam. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I'll look forward to next time. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully uh, we'll, we'll find out what happened with the circus. Yeah, hopefully. Talk to you on Thursday. We'll Samuel. see you Thursday. Yeah, good night. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right, let's just throw them in. The <laughs> oh, is it still recording? <laughs> oh. <laughs> My favorite character. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, again, I, I say we put the, uh, put the bard in the middle. Um, yes. Just waiting for my screen to load. There it goes. Yeah, and then pockets. I guess pockets and the crag heart will go up front, is my thought. I'll probably put... I can poison a bunch of them again. Cool. Is it okay if the crag heart takes your spot? Um, Kevin? Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know how to... Click on your character and then click on a oh, different... I was on... Yeah, okay. okay. You can poison... Yeah, um... That's fine. Um... 
I can poison as well. So maybe if you were in the opposite location as me, we can poison more things. Okay. Um, um, do we want retaliate or shield? These all look like melee damage, Yeah, so. I think we want... I think we want to retaliate just because they're melee and the skeletons tend to attack more than once and we can get yeah. more bang for a buck with retaliate. Very true. Um, and then, where's my blast card? There it is. Cool. I feel like the right thing to do is to do your... Plus, um, but I don't think you want to do your retaliate yet. I think you want to do your... Um, Bless and your give everybody shield two for the next yeah 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 so you'll do your retaliate like the next the next turn I guess um, oh. it sounds good I don't know if I'll be able to poison that one but <laughs> the rest of them. Yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, so you want to do the um, you want to do echoing aria and tuning the outcome. So you can do the bottom of echoing aria. Oh, so I did have it. I did have it. Yeah, okay. so you can do the bottom of echoing aria because that'll help with the initial assault. Like that, that shield too will definitely help right now um, before we can get the the retaliate up. Especially because the living corpses are attack four, so that's going to help a bunch with mitigate damage mitigation. I'm glad I have my armor too, because that's going to also help a lot. Sweet, thank you very much. Go play, Carol. Go. Poison the punks. Poison the pong. Good song. I always forget that. Dang it. I wish you could cancel, like, oh, I don't really want to use that stamina. I'm just kidding. Oh. Because I Get forgot that if all the shields active, yeah. I can't. But getting back to the outcome is still a good one. You yeah. can move three and curse. Or, or bless again if we're still around. But, okay. Let's see that poison. Luckily, these creatures are very slow. Um, what are they doing? Are they, they are moving and attacking. Yeah. The skeletons are moving and attacking two, target two. The living corpses are moving three or moving four, so. Okay, so I definitely wanna I won't be able to get that guy, but I I want like the all attacks targeting you have disadvantage. Yeah. You so with the shield I shouldn't take any damage, hopefully. Hopefully, if you use that with your yeah, if you do that with your disadvantage, yeah, hopefully. Ooh, you Ooh. That, you probably also should have used your goggles, but goggles. Yep. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Okay. All right. I'm going in. Move two. Shield one. So I have shield three, which is great against their four. Then attack these guys with a poison. Nice, bless. Oh, the Thank bless. you for that bless. Woo. Woo. Thank you for that bless. Coming in clutch. And yeah, stamina potion. Let's take back my impaling sphere. Nice. Ooh, I love my I love being a quartermaster. Alright. Let me try this combo because I think this is a really fun. 
I'm actually going to help you out, um, Kevin. So 